Now let's take a look at another way we can measure light. And when I say light, I should be a little more specific. Let's talk about how we can measure visible light and infrared light. This little sensor right here, the TSL2561, is able to do both of those. So this can measure even light sources like infrared that the human eye can't see. And it's done very easily. It's also much more precise compared to something like, say, a phototransistor. This sensor will put out the total lux or luminosity that it sees, again, both in the visible light and infrared spectrum. It also has a temperature sensor that's able to measure between negative 30 and 80 degrees C. It's very easy to hook up. Again, four wires, communication, two communication wires, and power and ground. It has a library, which is why we love Arduino. So let's go ahead and hook it up and see how it works. I'll start by putting this in my breadboard here in pins one through, looks like seven. There's a few extra pins on this because the way you communicate with this, with the serial communications, you can actually pick what address you wanna to speak to this particular sensor with, and you can change that address. We're not gonna go into that detail right now, but just so you know, if you have multiple sensors, you're able to read all of them through the same communication channel. We are gonna be hooking up four lines, starting with pin number one, which is your power, and I can connect that to five volts. The second pin is ground, easy enough. And then I have my two communication pins, SCL, which is the clock right here. It's the last pin on the sensor right there. And I'm going to connect that to analog five and SDA, which is the data and connect that to analog four. That's all you need to hook up to use the sensor. So let's take a look at the library and the code. So first thing that we need to do is open up our library manager and we can search for Adafruit TSL and there it is. First one, let's install it. Let's quit. Reload Arduino. Okay, while that loads up again, let's talk about a few more things. So what's nice about this one, like I said earlier, is you have visible light and you have infrared light. It also is addressable, so I can use multiple sensors on the same communication chain with these two wires. And last but not least, there's a gain function. We're gonna use the auto gain, but you're able to adjust its gain. And just like it sounds, it adjusts the sensitivity. So in ultra low light versus a bright light condition, you're able to change the sensitivity of the sensor. So it has a lot of great features. That's why I chose this one for the video. Now that the library is installed and we've restarted, you should be able to go to file examples and there it is, TSL 2561. Open that up and let's take a look here. Everything seems to be fine. It compiled perfectly. Of course, I'd expect it to do that. Let's connect our Arduino to it and go ahead and upload it before we talk about the code. We'll upload and if you look right here, communicating. When those lights go out, we know we're done. It's all done. Seems a little uneventful, right? Well, there's no light here. We have to actually look at the serial communications in the Arduino. So let's open up the serial monitor and there we go. We have auto game, the timing. There's a timing function in here. One last thing to mention, it's how often you sample, but it's also how long you take a sample for. So think about it averaging and, and being able to get a more accurate reading of the current lux. So right now we are reading about 370, 380. Once again, this multimeter, believe it or not, has a luminosity function. So if I turn that on and I put it down here, you can see here's where mine's reading from. So it's a little bit different. And if you can see here, mine's about 370 right there, 350 as I'm changing it, it's matching exactly what I'm seeing here on screen. So let's close out the serial monitor and we can take a quick look here. So basically there's some really nice commenting here. 
telling you how to hook it up. Again, four wires, very simple. Here is the display. So this is all the information that it prints. And here's your configuration. This is the part that you really need to take a look at and spend a few moments to think about what you want. Right now, I have this line, which is fast but low resolution. If I were to comment that out, forward slash, forward slash, and uncomment this one, now I have medium resolution, medium speed. And last but not least, I can get rid of those comments. And we have 16-bit data, but it's slow to convert. So that's basically how accurate you want it to be. Really clever way of putting an example online, makes it so easy to use. And then your setup, basically it's starting the sensor. If it doesn't see it, it'll give you an error message. And then the loop, very short loop, right? It's going to pull the sensor. It's going to get the amount of light. It's going to serial print the calculations that are done elsewhere in the library and it's going to delay a quarter of a second every time it prints. Now here, there's also an interesting little thing. If zero lux is on the sensor, it's saturated and you can't get reliable data. So there's even a little bit of error handling in there. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of how to read luminosity in your project and why I selected this little TSL 2561 breakout board.